Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raoul in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let's see how to solve this given question. Here, we need to find out the sum of this infinite series. 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 into 3 by 3 into 6. If you observe this one, this is actually an easy question. The pattern is really good. If you observe this pattern, in the first term, we have 1. We know that any uh, in this type of questions, the series will start with 1. And in the next term, I have one term in the numerator, one term in the denominator, two terms in the numerator and I mean product of two terms in the numerator and product of two terms in the denominator, product of three terms in the numerator here, product of three terms in the denominator here. So the pattern is really good. I just need to do a little here and there to make sure that uh, it matches with the formula which I am going to use. That's it. This is an easy question. So stay with me. Now I'm going to take the sum as S next. This sum, I'm going to write it as 1 by 1 into 1 by 3. Why you might think, okay, why, why, why am I writing it like this? Because I need factorials, okay, 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial. I want it in that way because that's how my format is, okay. So here, I'm this, this one, I'm going to make it as 1 factorial. Now, next, you might think how I'm going to get 2 factorial. Now, see, here I have in the denominator 3 into 6. This I'm going to write it as... 3 into 1 and 3 into 2, fine. So these threes will be kept aside and 1 into 2 will be coming outside, okay. And likewise here I wrote 3, 6, 9 as 3 into 1, 3 into 2 and 3 into 3. So 1, 2, 3 will become outside and 1 into 2 into 3 is nothing but 3 factorial, fine. Next. So as I mentioned, this one I wrote it as 1 factorial. Next, this 1 into 3 by 1 into 2. I brought this much outside and in a bracket I kept 1 by 3 into 3. All good. Fine. Now next, here also 1 into 3 into 5 by 1, 2, 3. And then 3, 3s would be left in a bracket. All good. Next, because I want increasing powers of a number. Here basically it is 1 by 3. This would be 1 by 3 whole square. This will be 3, 3s are there. So 1 by 3 whole cube. So I guess you are able to understand how I am trying to construct a pattern here. Now next, as I mentioned, 1 by 3 into 3 is nothing but 1 by 3 whole square. And 1 by 3 into 3 into 3 is nothing but 1 by 3 whole cube. So likewise, it just goes. Now, observe the pattern. Okay, uh, Here I have a one. Here I have a single term in the numerator and a factorial here. Here I have two terms in the numerator and I have two factorial and the power is also 2. Here I have three terms in the numerator. I have three factorial in the denominator and the power is 3 here. So you see the pattern is really good. The pattern is really good. This one I can directly compare it with what I want. This is like... 1 plus p by q, p by 1 factorial into x by q plus p into p plus q by 2 factorial into x by q also. Well. So if you see here, likewise, 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial. Power is 1, power 2, power 3. So it goes on. And here there's one term, two terms, and product of two terms and product of three terms. So you can understand it, how the things are going on here. Fine. Now next. If I'll compare like this, if I'll compare like this, you can check out. So P will be nothing but 1. X by Q is nothing but 1 by 3. And uh, P is 1 here and P plus Q is 3. So that's what I'm going to write it in the next slide. So here P is 1, P plus Q is 3 and X by Q is 1 by 3. As I mentioned. P is 1. So just put that here. 1 plus Q is 3 and Q would be nothing but 2. And that 2 put it here. X by X by 2 is nothing but 1 by 3. X by Q is 1 by 3. So Q we got it as 2. So X by 2 is 1 by 3. So X is nothing but 2 by 3. Okay. That should suffice. Now next. So I got my P, Q and X. All good. Now S is nothing but S is nothing. That entire series which you saw. Okay. This one. This one which I just showed you. This is nothing but expansion of 1 minus x whole power minus p by q. Okay, This is nothing but expansion of 1 minus x whole power minus p by q. So this entire thing is going to reduce to 1 minus x whole power minus p by q. And this series is exactly like this. So this is nothing but 1 minus, this s is nothing but 1 minus x whole power minus p by q, where, where my p is 1, q is 2 and x is 2 by 3. Okay, so you see that a big, that much big series or infinite series just got shrunk to this much, fine. This was my objective of, you know, doing here and there and getting it into that pattern, fine. Now next, I just substituted the things. So just take LCM 3 minus 2 by 3 whole power minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 whole power minus 1 by 2. 
a power minus m is nothing but a by, or you could say it other or you could use the other formula a by b whole power minus m is nothing but b by a whole power m so 1 by 3 whole power minus 1 by 2 is nothing but ulta 3 by 1 whole power 1 by 2 okay so s is 3 by 1 is nothing but 3 so s is nothing but 3 power 1 by 2 any 3 power 1 by 2 is nothing but root 3 that's it i got my s so thank you very much for staying with me up till now in case you like this video please hit the like button it will encourage me to make more make many more of such videos okay and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please do subscribe to it and put if you have any doubts or you know would like to say something to me please do comment uh, come in the comment section we can have a discussion there thank you